Hello, everyone who's watching um, right now in Launch Your Hypnosis Career Now, the group. And for those who will watch later, thank you as well. Now, um, I have a few things I want to cover. Just let me take a look over here at my notes real quick. Um, where did it go? Right. All right. So the, the purpose of this recording is really it's geared at either hypnotists or folks that, uh, that want to be hypnotists. And I'm talking about professionally. Uh, if you just want to have some fun with hypnosis and uh, you want to learn how to hypnotize your friends, that kind of thing, that's great. Uh, I highly encourage you to do that. I've, I've helped, um, I've helped a, a few people do that. Uh, you can use that same link that I've posted in the comments. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find it in the description. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would love for you to, to, um, to sign up there and, uh, and get the information that you want because I can help you. I can direct you. I don't do a whole lot of uh, hypnosis teaching right now. I have in the past. I may do it again. But actual hypnosis, I will, I will send you to some folks that, that uh, I recommend. All right, so this, this, again, this is really geared towards folks that uh, maybe you've been in practice for a little bit and, and you just don't know, um, you know what, what to do next. Or maybe you've gotten trained and you, you're, uh, you're kind of wondering, um, where do I start? All right, so, you know, um, you know, I remember when I first started, man, it was tough. It was tough to figure out, you know, where, you know, it's a little bit easier now because you don't have to decide, do I, for some of us, we don't have to decide, do I want to be in an office or do I want to do it online? For, for a lot of us who are in uh, situations during this pandemic, during 2020, we're sort of stuck doing hypnosis from home. One of the things that, that uh, people that are new to hypnosis, um, you know, if they haven't been doing, if they haven't been working with a lot of clients, um, one of the, the biggest problems that they come to me with is questions like, what if they don't get hypnotized? Um, uh, you know, or, you know, I've worked with some clients and, you know, I'm, I'm not getting the kind of results that I want. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe other, you know, I, I worked with my sister-in-law and she's still smoking that sort of thing. So let's talk about confidence first. Uh, number one, I, here's a, here's a funny thing. Have you made yourself a hypnosis recording? First of all, that's, that's the first thing. And for that, for, for the whole thing, so you're wanting to be a hypnotist. Have you created a, a hypnosis recording with all those things that if, if I came to you and I said, hey, I want to be a hypnotist, uh, you know, professionally or for fun, you know, whether it's stage, therapeutic, uh, can you help me? And you'd say, well, of course I can help you. S you know, sit back, relax, boom, boom, boom. What would you put in that hypnosis for you? Okay. Now, if you don't want to do it for yourself, go into the group, launch your hypnosis career now, and throw something out. People are always looking to practice. They're wanting to practice uh, in hypnosis, uh, you know, especially now with the with the online thing. So go on there. Say, hey, I want to do some practice sessions with somebody, and you guys can trade, do a little trade there. And so create that hypnosis recording. I, I actually, uh, I was working in a clinic when I started doing comedy hypnosis shows. And I literally went to one of the, the other hypnotists and said, hey, I need some confidence for this. I need to be able to do this. And uh, she, she made me a, a recording. I listened to it, you know, and, and it really helped me a lot to get that confidence up for, for doing stage shows and for just all those things that I needed. Now, later on, I created my own because it was, there were some other things that I wanted to add in. But, um, but yeah, create that hypnosis. I've actually put together a hypnosis recording. It's called Hypnotic Confidence. I got to tell you, in, when it comes to hypnosis, I think, wow, confidence. People tell me, what's the most important thing to hypnotize somebody? Confidence. Now, why is that? There's a lot of different reasons. But one of the reasons is because if you come across like you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be tough for your client, your subject, to get into that space, that mind space, that's going to allow them to go into hypnosis. Their their defenses are going to be up. Their guards going to be up. They're going to be internally rolling their eyes. Wow, what are they looking at? What are they they're looking at their book and they're you know all this kind of stuff. So confidence. 
you can go check it out. It's on YouTube. You don't have to. You don't have to sign up or anything. Uh, it's it's on it's on my YouTube channel, uh, youtubecom uh, hypnotic confidence. But if you um, if you sign up if you sign up with the uh, the link that I sent down, I'll send you that a link to that, and I also send you the MP3 um, recording that you can download to your phone, whatever, and you can listen to it uh, as often as you want. But again, you can create this yourself. You are a hypnotist. So start acting like one. All right. Now, uh, please, um, if you're watching, please give me a like, a, a comment, all that good stuff. If you're watching later on YouTube, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. So hypnotic confidence. Now, what you're going to find in the video that I did, one of the one of the key tactics that I use with anybody who's trying to start a new profession or they're um, you know, they want to, they want to, you know, be more like their friend or they want to, you know, one of the things when I first started speaking gigs, I wanted to be more like, you know, Tony Robbins. And so if you're familiar with NLP, you know, the technique, you know, um, sometimes referred to as modeling and it really is just acting like that person, uh, you know, and, and you kind of, and it's, I don't mean acting, acting, but Put yourself in their shoes. You try to imagine what is, you know, so what I would do is uh, in, I would, I created a hypnosis recording for this. And I also did the NLP exercises. And I imagine if I were Tony Robbins, what would I do first thing in the morning? You know, if I were Tony Robbins, uh, how would I present myself when I'm on stage? Now I have had people tell me, well, but I don't want to be somebody else. It doesn't stay like that. You're not going to be acting like them forever. You're just getting into that character and then it becomes you. It'll become you. It will. And so that's, that's one of the, the most, I think the, the best technique, if you, if you have other techniques for that, uh, for, for, um, you know, gaining confidence in a certain, you know, career or whatever that you're, that you're, um, that you're willing to share, please show those in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and what's worked for you. So the confidence part is going to come into, come into play when you are, uh, doing the uh, hypnosis induction, it's also going to come into part when you are booking clients. Okay, I remember when I first started booking shows, it was really, uh, I was, I felt really um, sort of, you know, oh, I don't know if I should reach out to them or whatever. And finally, I got to a place where, where now it's like I can, uh, it's pretty easy for me to, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a comedy of stage hypnotist. It took me a long time to get there, so you can, you can just take the time. Or you can use these techniques that I'm talking about to to do it quicker. That's all. We're just you know we just do it we just do it faster. All right. So what else do we want to know about confidence? One of the things that that people will often tell me, and I get this. Well, I just need to learn another technique, and then I will be, you know, I will be I'll have more confidence. And um, and please, I just got to tell you, stop. Taking more trainings. Kara, thank you. Take on attributes that you want, that you see in others. There's a technique called the, the black room that can be a powerful tool for that as well. Fantastic. Look that up, people. The black room. Yeah, we're just taking on the attributes of those people that are successful, that are already successful. You're acting like them. I, I'm always reminded of this thing that um, uh, Leonard Nimoy apparently said in an interview later. He said that I was more Spock-like after playing the character of Spock than I ever was before. So he didn't start off, you know, like Spock in, if you're not familiar, it's Star Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. Uh, he became more like, you know, logical or whatever, acting logical uh, after he played the part. After you play that part for a while, it sort of seeps in and you'll, and you'll get there. So back to, okay. If this is for the, this is, again, this is for people that are either new to the industry or they haven't quite, you know, they haven't, uh, that they're either launched or they're still kind of, oh, what should I do? What should I do? You know, um, stop taking training classes. This is one of the things that drives me nuts. And, and this is the reason I started teaching my class at conferences, Launch Your Hypnosis Career Now. I teach it at uh, HypnoThoughts. I've taught it at HypnoBiz. And um, I'll be teaching, hopefully, you know, things open up next year. I'll be teaching it um, at, um, at some other ones, Heartland. The, all of the training classes are full, while a lot of the business classes are not. I ran the same thing when I was teaching massage. You know, students always want to know, oh, we want a new, we want a new technique. Teach us a new technique. No, but go back to your basics, effleurage and petrissage, some friction. Go back to the basics. 
basic hypnosis, you know, even just, just basic hypnosis has been around for centuries, you know, millennia. You don't have to worry about, well, should I use this technique, that technique? This is what happens a lot of times. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of going off track a little bit, but this and this happens all the time. I, in fact, I, it was just a while back. I had somebody, you know, I've got to stop smoking, client, but I don't know which which of the the three techniques I've learned I should use. You know, uh, pro- protocols. Stop learning protocols. Learn one. Learn your. Go get your basic training, whatever that is. Hopefully, it's at least hundred hours, but whatever. Get your basic training. Don't do any more training now until you start working with clients because that training is going to be so much more valuable. The training you take after. Working with clients can be so much more valuable, okay, because you're going to have more experience in it, and you'll be able to relate it. Oh, you know what? I could have used this technique with that client, that sort of thing. When I first started doing, when I first started doing phone sessions, because I wasn't sure, you know, I wasn't sure, ooh, can I really hypnotize people on the phone or through video? Uh, I don't know why I, I had that, you know, a lot of people think, you know, thought that, oh, can, can we really be hypnotized online? Well, of course you can. It's a talk-based therapy. It's not massage. I'm not coming over to massage you. I just talk to you. But uh, when I first started that, I would tell clients, you know, hey, look, if, you know, if you're not happy with the results, we'll do another one at no charge. Or I would just, you know, do the sessions, and if they, they weren't getting the results that they, they wanted, I would offer to do another one. That's what you can do. You don't have to stick to um, uh, some, some made-up protocol in your mind. Well, it should be this and it should be that. Just um, if that's your concern. But it shouldn't be. If you know the basics, you're ready. Get out there. Start working with people. Uh, one of the things, too, is people will want to sign up for my, you know, I'm, I'm teaching, um, I teach uh, street hypnosis techniques for, for, for street or for uh, hypnotherapists. And they want, oh, if I, could just stick, if I could just stick someone's hand to the table, then, then I would have the confidence to, you know, start my practice, to work with stop smoking clients and all this. You don't have to be able to do that to be a hypnotherapist. You don't need to learn another technique. Learn the basics. I start off with the basics, just the basics. I was helping people, helped hundreds, maybe thousands of people, you know, lose weight, quit smoking before I ever took any extra training. So it's, it's just not necessary. And I know everybody thinks, and I, I see this all the time, guys. I see you guys. You're not in practice yet. You've got the training, and you've got all these roadblocks in front of you. Oh, I have to take another training. I have to take another training. You're at the conferences. You're taking every single training. Stop taking training. If you want to take training, take business classes. That's it. Marketing, business. That's the most important stuff. Okay. So get out there. Start practicing right now. Quit quit screwing around with more, more training. And here's the thing, too. This is what drives me nuts, too. I don't know of a single other profession where we have this. Where people, you know, you're not a doctor and you keep taking uh, an extra class and an extra class before you actually go out there. You know, dentists and, and, you know, real estate. I think of real estate agents, you know. They go get the basic training. And then every two years they have, you know, a lot of professions are like this. When I did massage, every two years you've got to do continuing education. That's what you want to do. Get your basic training. Go into practice. Then get your continuing education. It's perfect. Then plus you'll be in, you'll be in business then and it'll be a tax write-off. Maybe. I'm not an accountant, so don't don't take my word on that. Okay. How to be fearless in marketing. This is the thing that drives me crazy, too, with new hypnotists, even older hypnotists, people that have been doing it for a while. In fact, I keep posting, you know, I was for a while I was doing marketing challenges in the, the Launcher Hypnosis Career Now uh, group, and nobody was doing them, so I stopped doing it, you know. Um, marketing is the single most important thing to your business. Honestly, it's the most important thing. If you can't market yourself or get someone that will market you, you are screwed. Sorry. Really, you're not going to get anything. Now, people will say, well, I really want to get referral business. When you're first starting out, you're not going to get any referral business. Okay? (laughs) Stop saying that. Referrals are the best. In fact, I got a referral the other day. They're a slam dunk. I got, I got one the other day. I, I got this message from a woman. She says, you know, a blank client has, is thrilled with you. She says, you're amazing. You're the best. I want to work with you. Didn't say, how much is it? You know, anything. I want to work with you. How do we make this happen? We set up the appointment. Slam dunk. There was no, there was no sale. There was nothing. She was ready to sign on. Yes, they are the best. But even in the best of circumstances, Referral business is going to take a while. Remember, we work in in a situation where 
some of our clients aren't even going to want to tell anyone, right, that they got hypnotherapy. Even if it's for something like smoking or, you know, weight loss or something you wouldn't think they would care about. But so many people have it in their mind. They're like, well, I, I don't want anybody to know that I needed help to do it. So uh, a lot of times I won't even do reviews. It's, uh, I find it very difficult sometimes to get reviews, even from people that are super happy. They just, they don't, either they don't want to take the time to do it or they forget or, you know, they're kind of shy about it. Care says something here too. Um, ah, fantastic. Care says she gets overwhelmed with marketing. Care, can you tell me more about that? How you get overwhelmed? I'd love to know. Uh, it is. It can be. It can be uh, overwhelming. Definitely. There's a lot to do, and it's got to be done. But anyway, so the other thing is, I know. I know. I was working with a. I was a coaching, uh, doing some personal coaching with a. a, a fledgling hypnotist, which I do. I'm happy to do that. And their concern was nobody knew they, they they didn't want their family and friends to know they did hypnosis. And so they didn't want to post anything on social media. I've only paid for ads a couple of times and it was a disaster. I didn't know what I was doing. The I call my marketing strategy the slow burn because I very rarely, uh, I'm getting better about it, but you know I very rarely put out a uh, call to action, which you need to do. Don't, you know, I, for far too long, I was just kind of, um, Hey, if, if, you know, I get lots of likes and comments and stuff, pretty soon people will contact me and they do, but it's not as quick as if you put a call to act, put calls to action out there, let people know. But here's the thing, you know, if you're, if you're worried about, you know, I don't want people to know that I'm a hypnotist. Um, well in that case, that's going to be really tough for you to get any kind of leads on social media. Really. You can start a business page, but a business page without, a, without being able to, to draw from your, your personal page is, is going to be tough to, to get, unless you want to pay for some, for some ads. I mean, you can do that, but if that's your deal, then that's fine. I, I, I can't help you. That's what I finally told him. I said, I, I can't help you then. That's, that's not, that's not what you talk to, talk to Jason Lynette. He'll help you with, uh, SEO stuff. I don't do SEO stuff. I, I, numbers drive me crazy. So marketing. I remember watching a video one time where the woman said that if that you people want, well, how much time should I spend on marketing? Well, if you, she said, if you want to have 20 clients a week, you, you work out in your budget, okay, this is how much I charge. This is how much I want to make. Um, and say, I want to see 20 clients a week and you're seeing three clients a week then 17 hours should be spent on marketing. That's the minimum, I think. Uh, she's so care, uh, put a comment here that she gets overwhelmed because she's thinking about all these little details, like who do I target? How do I target? You know, it's copywriting. A lot of it's copywriting. So one of the, one of the things that I was missing for a long time is I would just put out, you know, hey, this is what I do, boom, 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 without mentioning the benefits. So, hey, come sign up for, you know, come work with me with hypnosis. Okay. But what are the benefits of working with me with hypnosis? It's easier than anything you've ever done before. It's quicker than anything you've ever done before. Those kinds of things. So you want to give them the, the feature and the benefit. The benefits are what sell. And so I would, I would look into that. But the very first thing you could do, Care, or anybody else out there, is just start letting people know that you're a hypnotist. Okay, that's... That's the easiest thing in the world, and that's what that's what kind of drives me crazy when I when I put these marketing strategies out there because I see I know a, a lot of you are my friends. I see you on Facebook. If I didn't know you were a hypnotist, I wouldn't know you're a hypnotist by looking at your Facebook page, your uh, your personal page. And look, yes, there is a division. You're not you technically you know you're not supposed to post uh, business on your personal page, but you can share it from your business page. And a lot of people get away with actually posting business stuff on their personal page. So, you know, even calls to action and stuff. But but all, but it doesn't have to be like a, a huge business thing. It can be you post like, Care, I know you've had some great results with some clients. That's the first thing to put up there. You know, I just got this great email from a client who, blah, 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 quit smoking in two weeks, you know, uh, hasn't had a cigarette in two weeks has lost, you know, 40 pounds in six months or something, or said that, you know, like the one of the ones I got, you know, before was, you know, you're on the top, my, my top three things to be grateful for every day. So share those kinds of things, because what you're saying is you're not going, hey, come work with me. I'm a hypnotist. Hey, come. You're just going, oh, hey, by the way, I'm a hypnotist. Now people go, oh, they're a hypnotist. Hmm. One thing that I ran into, though, is 
is I would get people that would message me and say, Hey, I saw you're a hypnotist. Um, do you work with, with clients? Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, they, they want to know, will you work with me? Can you work with me? And so we do want to let them know, yes, you can work with me. So you can even put something like that. You know, if you had a, a, a good result with a client, um, just say, um, you know, wow, I got this great text today from a client who has had, had depression. They're feeling so much better. You know, what would it be like if you didn't have depression anymore? DM me for more info. You know, things like that. It doesn't have to be this hardcore push, 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 push. The other thing is, is share scientific articles. You know, you see some research. You can uh, share videos. I love, you know, people love when you share videos. The, the, my best performing videos are girl hypnotized on beach. If you can, if you can work that street hypnosis stuff, uh, you'll get a lot of views that way, get a lot of engagement. But just anything that has to do with it. Um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And care, believe me, if you find you know a good way to to target the demographic and all that good stuff, that's that's really wonderful, and it will probably get you clients quicker. Like if you did Google Ads, I know uh, I see some some hypnotists out there that have that have Google Ads running. Um, I know Anthony Gitch says that he gets a lot of his stop smoking clients from from Google Ads. So I'd recommend you know checking out Jason Lynette. The uh, he's got a podcast called uh, Work Smart Hypnosis. You'll get a lot of tips in there, and then if you see him at the conference, of course, go check it out. Look at what other hypnotists are doing. That's the other thing I would say about marketing. And so go to their websites. And that was the that was the piece of paper I was looking for earlier because I wrote down a few a few people's websites. There's a lot of different ways to market. So if you go and look at say Richard Barker's stuff, incrediblehypnotist.com, he's got he's kind of selling an image. He is uh, going influencer type of a type of a message, celebrity hypnotist, this kind of a thing. Uh, if you go to, to Virginia Hypnos- uh, VirginiaHypnosis.com, I believe is Jason Lynette's website. You can see how he does it. I know he's he's really does a lot of uh, work with uh, SEO and that sort of stuff. Uh, the stuff. Also, go over and look at uh, Victoria Gallagher's site. You know, she's got she's got a lot of uh, she does a lot of stuff with uh, hypnosis downloads, and she's got an app, and her website is HipTalk H Y P T A L K dot com. And then, of course, you know, you got like Mike Mandel. He's got a different approach. He's like the rock star of, of hypnosis. Okay, so um, if you've seen him at the conferences, you know, him and Chris Thompson, they're, they're throwing out their T-shirts and they've, you know, it's got a very much of a, a rock star vibe to it. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can, you can market. So go look at their websites and try to figure that out. Oh, and that brings me to another one for, as far as marketing goes. Get yourself a website if you don't already have one. Look, I know people are saying, ah, oh, websites are obsolete. Oh, you just use your social media, whatever. BS, go get a website. You know, I don't even like to go to, honestly, I don't even like to go to a restaurant anymore if I can't see their website. Now, Google Business, you know, Google My Business or whatever, that local, Google Local or whatever, that helps. So if, if it's a restaurant, I, you know, I want to look at the menu. I don't know why. I want to look at the menu first. I want to make sure there's something I'm going to want to eat. But if you if you're um, if somebody's trying to I've gotten lots of business believe me from from just having a website a good looking website I've had people I had I had one guy specifically tell me he was I like, googled hypnotists and you your uh, your site was the most professional so I hope that means you're professional you know that you're the that you're the best one if you drove up if you drove up to say a grocery store and it was all run down and you know needed to be painted. And uh, just across the street is this beautiful brand new grocery store. Which one would you go into? Now, maybe you, you want to go to that, that rundown one. I don't know. Personally, I'd probably go to the one that looks like they care, that looks like they know what they're doing. So get a website right now. Go get it. If you, if you can't afford it, you've no excuses. You can get a free one. You can go to Wix. You can go to uh, Squarespace. Um, who else? Who else? There's there's other ones that do it too. There's another one, big one. Um, I can't remember what it is. As a temporary solution, it'll be it'll it'll be like wix.com slash your name here kind of a thing. So it's it's not great, uh, but at least you'll have something up there so they can go get some more information about you. You know, find your videos, find a little blog about you, that kind of stuff. And it just and this is just a little pet peeve of mine. Please, please get a when you do get a website, get an email address attached to that website. You know, like I have um, 
at Jim at JimKellner.com or news at, at, at JimKellner.com. Please, 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 please get that because um, it looks, it just looks weird when you, it, okay, it looks, it, oh, it looks so weird when you've got like, you know, um, Big bad daddy at gmail.com for your business address. Okay, now that's a that's an over that's a over exaggeration. Care, I didn't mean to call you out about that. Kidding. But you gotta get get it. You just have to. It's it's terrible. If 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 you at the very least get something that's that's like your name at gmail.com or your name hypnotist at gmail.com or uh, you know at apple.com or whatever. Because and don't, and please, you know, you, you wouldn't think that email addresses would go out of fashion, but don't you? But please, don't use like AOL, Earthlink, uh, Hotmail, stuff like that. That that looks old fashioned, really. Um, get something newer. Get get a Gmail app. You if you've got an Android or an, or an iPhone, then you've got you've got to have one of those addresses, right? You've got just to log in. You've got to have an, a Gmail address or a, an iPhone address. So please use those. It looks so tacky. When I'm and, and plus I can't find you. You know I've got I've got this uh, VA I was using, and the uh, uh, the email address was uh, it was I, I'm just gonna make up a name Andrea. It wasn't even Andrea. It was like um, something like Best VA or something like that at blah 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 dot com Earthlink dot com or something. It was such a pain to try to find the email address. I'm, I'm trying. Oh wait, what, what's their email address again? Uh, I got to search their name, and then you know, you know, Josephine comes up like you know ten times. I get ten different Josephines. It's a pain. Put your name in there. I can just type in. If you want to get an email from me, you type in Jim Kellner. Boom. Everything from Jim Kellner is going to be in your inbox. Just a pet peeve of mine. Do you have other ideas about that? Do you like using, you know, Big Daddy, twenty one at gmail dot com? Let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear. Let me hear why it's better. I don't know. I don't know everything. I just know a few things. Okay, let me see. We've talked about uh, website, email. Get yourself a business page. Start building it right now. The one of the, the best things you can do. You know, you're not going to get. Nobody's going to. Uh, nobody's going to go to your. Nobody went to my Jim Keller hypnotist uh, page. Nobody just found it until I start sharing it over onto my personal page. So you you come up with a funny meme. The the, the best strategy I have for that is is my own personal stuff. I'll share it on both. Okay, now this is this is my own little secret tip. So so pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. Are you ready? Okay. Also, want to remind you if you want to get the the uh, if you want to get updates, um, I've got it. I got this really cool landing page set up. I just did it this morning. I'm trying to follow Jason Lynette's lead. He's got all this cool stuff like that. Um, if you want to get updates, uh, I put together this cool landing page. It's for people that it's got options. I even put options this time. So if you want to just launch your hypnosis, you'll get updates about that. If you want to learn to hypnotize people for fun, that'll be on there. There's like four to four or five different options. So please go sign up. Um, the link will be down below. It's already in the description. Uh, if you're watching later, if you're watching later, I'll have my my shortener. It'll be uh, I'm gonna write it down right now so I don't forget. It'll be Jim. So if you're watching later, type, write this down. Get ready. Jim Kellner. And then I'm going to share my super secret technique. Jim Kellner, K-E-L-L-N-E-R dot info slash, let's call it hypnotists. Hypnotists. H-Y-P-N-O-T-I-S-T-S. Right. Where's this at? I'll probably, I'll probably put it on there later. How, we've been in it 30 minutes. Wow, 30 minutes goes by so fast. Okay, we're going to wrap this up in about maybe 15 minutes, I think. 15 more minutes. Here's my super secret strategy that I use. Now, if you follow me, you know I make my own memes. I love making memes. And um, that's a, it's a great way to, to get your name out there, get your website info out there. You know, what do they say? It takes about seven touches for, uh, for people to uh, begin to start recognizing you as a brand. So uh, every single one of those, I'm going to put my website on it. And so every time they see it, oh, yeah, Jim Kellner Hypnotist, Jim Kellner Hypnotist, or my other brand, um, damnimepretty.com, damnimepretty.com. So I'm, I'm sort of, I'm hitting them with it without hitting them with it, you know? As again, I'm not going, hey, everybody, look at me. I'm awesome. Look at me. I'm awesome. No, it's boom, boom. They keep, they keep seeing it over and over, and I'm hypnotizing them. Maybe you're already hypnotized. Okay, here's my big secret. So if I, if I do my own content, because I definitely want to make sure as many eyeballs as possible are on my own content, then I'm going to place it 
on my personal page separately. I will share it on my business page as well. Oh, shoot. My battery's going to go dead here pretty soon. Um, that was that was a huge mistake on my part. I'll probably be done before then. Let's hope. So, um, so yeah. So, you know, if I make up a meme, I'm going to place it on my personal page where I've got about 4,500 followers. Uh, and I'm also going to post it on my my business page, I'm up to almost 10,000 people over there. I've got some tricks on how to how to improve that. If you if you want more information about that, I'll probably include that in one of the updates later as well. So so sign up, jimkellner.info slash hypnotist. If you're watching live, it won't be there yet. Um, you'll have to use the link that's over in the in the what you call it discussion description comments. I don't know. Okay. So this way, because if you share it from your business page, it's not going to get as many views, basically. So if you so so share it individually, all of your different market, all of your different places, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff, share it independently. If you find a really super funny video, you know, you know, uh, there was one, you know, like elephant, you know, baby elephant uh, slides down a muddy hill or something, or uh, anything with cats, things like that. People love that kind of stuff that are cute or something super funny. Then go to your business page, post it on your business page, and then share that to your personal page. So from business page to personal page, that'll get people going. Oh, oh, I see. There's a business page. Okay, so that's another way that they can learn that you're a, that you're a hypnotist. Oh, okay, great. They're a hypnotist. So share it over there. Something I started doing recently. Um, so I'll tell you, for years, I really was just about the likes and the engagement because I thought that was going to make me super famous and successful and everything. And it helped. It really did. I mean, it's helped a lot. But uh, and so so I, I really wasn't focused on calls to action, but really calls to action are what's going to bring in the money. Care If anybody else is watching, please like, comment, um, all that kind of stuff. Ah, Sean. Sean says all good stuff. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. So, so here's the thing. Facebook doesn't like you sharing outside links, right? So they don't, they would rather you upload a video natively. That's what they call it natively rather than sharing it from YouTube. So they ding you a little bit. They're not going to show that video. If you share a video from YouTube, they're not going to share, show it to as many people as if you uploaded it natively. Okay. So for the longest time, uh, I would I would share it to Facebook because I want all those likes and all that stuff. But I've switched strategies now. I'm really trying to build my YouTube audience. So I'm, I'm literally actually sharing now from YouTube to Facebook a lot of times, not always, a lot of times in the hopes that it's going to bring people over to my YouTube channel and they're going to start subscribing. The reason being, I'll tell you the reason being, is because um, I've got uh, about 4,500 eyeballs on Facebook uh, with maybe a few shares, but I've got I potentially... 8 billion eyes on YouTube and uh, YouTube eventually, if you get enough subscribers, uh, eventually will start paying you. You can monetize your account. Uh, Facebook, mm, so far, no. So that's just something to consider. If you're just getting started out though, I, you know, you probably do want to go ahead and share it to, to Facebook just because you need, um, you need those, uh, you need as many eyeballs as possible. So I'll get less views on, on YouTube uh, by doing this, but, but I'm, it's a, it's an overall strategy. Uh, okay, so how to be fearless. This is a huge one. I know so many people are afraid of that, of that, that, you know, oh, I don't, I, I'm you know, shy, I'm embarrassed, I don't want to, all this. Get over that. If you're in business for yourself, social media marketing is, it's, it, it costs you your time, but it doesn't cost you any money if you're just doing it like I'm talking about, about buying ads. Um, this is the way that I sort of got past that. Offer something of value. Okay, so, and this will this will help you in your sales process and everything. You know, used to be it was it was about man, I really want to sign this this person on because I want a new client. You know, I I need money, right? Just like everybody else does. But when I I think about it, and even with this, when I put this together, there was a thought of me. Oh, I don't, you know, but you're 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 gonna you, you want people to sign up for your course and stuff. Yes, but here's the thing. I know it's valuable. I know I can help you. I, I know you're probably gonna make that money back easily within a client or two by using the stuff that you're going to learn in that. So when I'm posting something on, on social media, like a video or a blog or something, and I might be going, Oh, I don't know. Should, you know, who am I? You know, I, what? Are, listen, remind yourself that you're helping people. If you're not helping people go get out of here. Don't, I don't want you here. Don't 
don't don't learn anything from me, please. If you're helping people, though, in whatever way, would you make them laugh? That's helping them. Uh, but if you're just in it for yourself, this this won't help you. But if you if you frame it as you're helping people, look, when I, I made this blog article, it's not just to get more people to my my website. It's because I want to share some information. I want to help somebody. I want to help somebody live a better life. Okay. That's what, that's, that's my, you know, your success is my success. That's my brand. That's my, my, my whole, that's my slogan for my business. Your success is my success. Every time I get a, um, an email from a client that says, wow, you really helped me. I go, I was successful. Okay. They're successful. I'm successful. That's, that's the, that's the, the mental attitude that you can have. That's going to get you past this. Ooh, I don't know. Should I market that kind of thing? Let the money go. Forget about the, what's in it for you. What's in it for them. You can, you uh, Zig Ziglar said that you can have everything in life that you want as long as you'll help enough other people get what they want. So that let that be your focus. That gets rid of a, so much of that timidness in marketing. Okay, you don't have to you don't have to come out and be you know uh, about me. You know, hey, damn, I'm pretty. Okay, you don't have to do that. I didn't start with that. I started off small. Okay. One more thing, and then we're gonna get out of here. Um. Some people tell me, well, I can't go into practice yet because my success rate sucks. The reason your success rate sucks probably is because you are uh, working with friends and family. Friends and family, you're never going to get the kind of success rate that you will with, um, with, with other folks for a variety of reasons. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, if you had depression, you wouldn't go talk to your aunt who was a, who was a therapist, right? A, you know, a counselor or something. No, of course not. You know, if you, if you needed to get a kidney replaced, you don't go to your, your dad who's a doctor. Probably there's, there's, there's boundaries and there's a whole, there's, I don't want to get into all the reasons why it does it's not as effective, but one of the reasons is, especially when you're first starting out is they don't have any confidence in you. So there's going to be a part of them going, I don't know, you know, this is, this is my, you know, my, my college buddy, you know, I mean, I don't, do I, do I trust him. He's going to make, it's just, it's just not, you're not going to, so stop it. So how do, how do you change that? Well, number one, start, start offering to do some trades in the launcher hypnosis career now group. Uh, don't go to these. There's a lot of weird groups out there for this stuff. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust my my brain with with some of those weird uh, groups I've heard about. Uh, but if that's your thing, please go for it. But in the launcher hypnosis career now, these are all people that that want that want to practice hypnosis. They want to they want to just learn. So so put a thing out there. Hey, I would love to do some practice you know sessions with somebody else. And um, hey, when they have good results, hey, will you please do a review for me? Please, no fake reviews. I hate fake reviews. I, ugh, I ugh. please don't do fake reviews. I've seen so many of them. Oh, some of my mm, ugh, people that do the same kind of work that I do. I don't call them competitors. They do the same kind of work that I do. I look at some of their stuff and I know, I know that it's, it's, it's not true. And it's really frustrating. So whether it's reviews or, you know, companies you've worked for stuff, please don't fake any of that stuff. You know, it's fine to be hyperbolic, you know, to, to, you know, um, exaggerate a bit, but don't, don't outright lie. I hate that stuff. I just hate it. Um, Also, you know, you could offer, you know, when um, you can offer to do some pro bono sessions for a charity organization, you know, you call up the local um, VFW and say, Hey, you know, I, you know, do you have any, do you have any members there? You know, I'm a, I don't say I'm a brand new hypnotist Just say, Hey, I'm a hypnotherapist. I want to give back to my community. Uh, do you have some, from some folks there that, you know, maybe they're having some trouble dealing with, with what they went through in, uh, you know, in, in, uh, during their service or something. Um, you know, please, we pass my name along. I would love to do some, some, some pro bono. Don't say free, say pro bono. Lawyers don't do free work. They do pro bono work. You know, professions, they don't do free work. They do pro bono work. It means the same thing, but it sounds different. So don't, don't offer any more free sessions, pro bono. You know, you could even put something on Facebook. Hey, hey, guys, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there struggling right now with anxiety, and I just want to help. Uh, for the next two or three, you know, next three people, uh, comment below or DM me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to help you at no cost, you know, pro bono. I don't, you know, I just want to help. And really be sincere about that. Want to help. Don't just be looking for the review, but really sincerely, sincerely do want to help them. Okay, and that's going to that's gonna help a lot. So if you want other ideas about that, feel free to hit me up, you know, jim at jimkellner.com. Um, but again, please stop doing the free sessions. They, um, after you've been doing it for a while, once you're like a Richard Nongard or, um, you know, Mike Mandel or something, you can probably work with your family members. And get a good success rate. I, I know I can do that now. They, they respect me. I've been doing it for long enough. 
but it's still, it's just not the same. They're not going to follow your advice like, like they, like your, your clients will, because, uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, so. hopefully you got a lot of good information out of the stuff that was, that was posted. You know, we talked about marketing, we talked about, um, confidence and, uh, who to work with, who not to work with when, um, so as far as, uh, as far as the course, so it's nine weeks long. You get the first week free when you when you sign up uh, below with the, uh, the the link in the description, or if you're watching later, it's jimkellner.info slash hypnotist. Jimkellner.info uh, slash hypnotist. I'm going to send you all the, the info about it. You'll get hypnotic confidence. You'll get more information about that. Here's hypnotic confidence you're going to get for free no matter what. So you're, you're ta we're talking about eight weeks. It's 500 bucks. That's it, 500 bucks. Why is it so cheap? Because I know you're broke. Okay, I was, you may not be, but, but a lot of new hypnotists are broke. They don't have any money. And so that's why I'm, I'm trying to do it as cheaply as possible. And uh, you, will, you will easily get that much value out of it. So our second one is the kickoff laser coaching and mastermind group call and goals. I'm going to help you uh, come up with some goals for yourself. Some of the things we're going to talk about is what direction do you want to go? Do you want to work with, with live clients? Do you want to do products? Do you want to go on the stage? Those kind of things so I can really tailor the information to you and the people that are in the group. Week three, we're going to talk about success mindset. I'm going to give you some exercises to do regarding that. And then um, four, again, we have another check-in. And I'm also going to throw in other stuff, uh, stuff that I, that because I'm always, I'm always finding out about new stuff, and I'll be sharing that with the group and inviting you to do the same thing. Uh, for instance, I've just started using a new uh, live stream platform called uh, uh, Restream.io. I highly recommend it. You can broadcast it like 20 different channels all at once. Selling by serving. No more feeling salesy. Marketing mindset. Uh, putting yourself in the public eye. I'm going to help you do that. People ask me, Jim, how did you get your TED Talk? How did you get the video of Kids Meet a Hypnotist? I'm going to tell you exactly how I got them. I'm going to tell you exactly how I got those. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly how. I didn't apply for either one. I didn't send in an audition tape. Nothing. I'll tell you how I got them. You're going to find that out when you take that. Uh, we'll talk about in week seven, why not you? Why aren't you the next Mike Mandel, the next Richard Barker, the next Jason Lynette, uh, the, the next whoever? Why not you? We all start somewhere. Okay, we all start somewhere. And uh, becoming the expert. Now, if you're first starting out, I'm going to help you to start laying the groundwork for becoming an expert in the field. Because uh, I'll tell you, when you start teaching other hypnotists, so like you go to conferences and things like that, whether, no matter what you're teaching, you could be teaching uh, hip, uh, art in hypnosis. doesn't matter. You're teaching at a convention. You're going to take pictures of you teaching at the convention. You're going to put it on your website. You're going to let your clients know that you uh, teach. Because uh, think about it this way. Would you, if you had a choice between two doctors, you've got Dr. A, you've got Dr. B. Dr. A, you just saw, he couldn't see you last week because uh, he was teaching at the, the big um, doctor convention. Or Dr. B, who's probably great, but was not teaching at the convention. I'm probably, I'm probably going to go with the one that was teaching. I'm like, wow, if they can teach other doctors, they must be doing something right. So you're going to become the, the, the expert among your peers and the public. The public, so that they will uh, do that. Uh, week nine, we're going to do uh, what's next. going to help you to discover what's next. Okay, what's your next step? And um, yeah, all along the way, we're going to be planning it out. We're going to be talking about, well, do I get an office? Do I do a virtual? All these kind of things. Everything that comes up for you, we're going to discuss it. Each, each call, I, I suspect, will take about an hour to 90 minutes. Could be a little bit longer. I don't want to go any longer than 90 minutes. So everybody get a chance to check in, depending on how many people we have. Again, it's 500 bucks. Because I want to make sure you're ready for January 1st, because that's when people start bombarding us. They're ready. They got those resolutions. So we're going to start laying the groundwork, doing some marketing ahead of time so that when, they, when they're thinking in that week between Christmas and, and New Year's, they start going, hmm, I need to make a change. They'll know who to call. All right? So, hey, I hope this, this information was helpful. Please uh, like, comment, share, 
all that good stuff. Please sign up. If, if you're not interested in the class this time around, maybe next time, or I'm just going to update you with information that I find helpful throughout the year. There's several options it, when you sign up. Again, the link is in the description, or it's jimkellner.info slash hypnotist. If you want to go sign up for the course right now, go over to my website, jimkellnerhypnotist.com slash store. I'll also put a link into the email I send you. Anything else? I think that's about it. Um, I hope that you join me. I really do. I really want you to join me in the profession because, I, as I always say, the more hypnotists we have out there, the more hypnosis work we'll have out there. All right, take care. Be well. Be awesome.